I'm traveling 3,000 miles across the country to build a $300,000 lawn care business in just 30 days. This Augusta lawn care location needs to be making $1,500 per day before I can hand it off to a general manager and go back home. I'm starting with no employees, no equipment, and no customers to prove that systems build great businesses. This is what we're gonna do. There's only one option. It's not, it's not an option here. Um, Chuck was not happy with me, and I'm not happy with myself about how, how much I went out of the systems. Yeah, next next week is gonna be very difficult from the challenge perspective in terms of video because we're just gonna be doing the same thing. And it's like sell more jobs, book the job, book out further, and hire a person. And it's gonna be hard to make it interesting for the vlog. Well, this kind of throws a monkey wrench in it. It's gonna definitely make it interesting. Today is day 23. It might as well be day one because this rain is killing us. Customers are canceling their projects because we are getting nothing but rain this entire week. Today's game plan it had to change because this rain. I'm probably gonna spend a lot of the day training with Terrence. I'm also gonna be training the newest member of Command Center, which is a robot. And now we've really got to debate whether or not we need to delay hiring someone simply due to the fact that all these jobs are getting moved off or canceled. Like we just had a customer cancel their mulch installation because of the rain. Yesterday we had a customer cancel their property cleanup because of the rain. So that one we pushed off to next week, but like the mulch one they canceled. I just don't understand. Like in the Pacific Northwest, it rains so much that like rain is just part of our life. And so if I have a project on the schedule, I might move it to the next day, but I'm not gonna cancel my project. This is really throwing a monkey wrench in. We got one more week to get to 1500, but we're stalling out around 1000. Hi, so I'm calling in regards to your parking space. Um, the guy beside you is relating. Um, he, has, he has trouble sometimes reparking his uh, box truck. So if you can, just kind of leave, you know, make sure you're all the way in your parking space when you leave it. Okay. All right, thank you so much. All right, thank you, bye-bye. Okay, so that's a little bit alarming because we are going to try to cancel our second slot for the storage that we just purchased the other day because we thought that we could just get the ramp rack and then the trailer in one single spot. So the bottom line is we're not sticking out any further than everyone else on that line. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just uh, finishing up. Uh, I bet I had to leave my phone in the uh, truck because uh, it was raining and it already said it had moisture in it. So I wanted to make sure I didn't lose my phone in the rain. Uh, just finishing up with Mr. Garrett Lewis, Lucas um, over here. Um, I got a couple things on my mind. I need to dump uh, because that was a lot of debris that I picked up from uh, from his house. I got nothing but leaves on the back of this truck because I was leaving the thing open for mulch. That this guy also sold this guy on the mulch job. <laughs> yep. I was like, no, you're not getting away. He was he was happy with the property cleanup. And uh, after I came and showed him everything for the property cleanup, I said, man, you might as well go ahead and let us install that mulch. You're basically getting free labor uh, because by the time you buy the mulch, you're going to be paying what you're going. You're going to be paying just for the mulch. Uh, what you'll be paying for the mulch and for us to do it. So he's on. We got to get him rescheduled uh, for the, to come back and do the mulch. But he doesn't want mowing, and I think we had him scheduled for mowing tomorrow. I'll let Commissioner know all of this stuff though. Okay, awesome job. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, just let Command Center know because I did see him on the schedule for mowing tomorrow and then we can get the mowing on schedule for probably next Tuesday. Um, so, great work. Let's just plan because if you still go get food, drop everything off and go to the dump, let's just call it a day and then you can head up and just chat with uh, Chuck. Nice job, Terrence. Upsold $3.99 for some mulch. Good stuff. Okay, so if you haven't heard me talk about before, we are working on an AI robot to basically answer after hour phone calls for Command Center. We're already open like 70 to 80 hours a week, but there's still plenty of time at night, on the weekends, like Sunday for example, that someone could call and we potentially miss a lead because we don't answer the phone. So the goal is to create an AI robot that can answer the phone, take all the information, get everything that is required on the phone, so the customer stops calling the next provider and we actually get the lead. So we are training a robot to do this. It's costed hundreds of thousands of dollars to build this technology. It's only going to get better. It's generative AI, which means it learns from itself. And so we are in the very early testing stages. We haven't even implemented it across Augusta Lawn Care yet. Today is actually the first day where I'm using the product hands-on. 
Augusta Lawn Care, what can I do for you today? Hi, I was uh, just looking for a mowing quote. Can you give me one of those? Sure, I'll just need to get some information from you first and then we'll get a quote over to you within the next couple days. Does that sound okay? Sounds good. Perfect. First, can I get your full name, please? Yeah, it's Mike Andes. Okay, can you spell your last name for me, please? Yeah, it's A-N-D-E-S. Got it. It will also need a number to send a text to. Is the one you're calling from okay? Yep, that works. Okay, I'm gonna need to take your address as well. Can you tell me your zip code? Yeah, it's 98... What's the first line of your address? It's Street. Okay, and do you need anything besides mowing? Any landscaping, fertilization, weeding, or installations, or anything like that? No, just the mowing is fine for now. Sure, I just need a bit more information on the property so we can get the most accurate estimate back do you have a sprinkler system? Uh, no. Okay, and any pets with access to the lawn? Uh, yes, my dog. And do you have a backyard gate? Yes. Perfect. Anything else you think we need to be aware of? Uh, I did put uh, some grass seed in the backyard last week. But other than that, that's fine. Okay. Amazing. That's all we need for now then. I'll send that text over to you in just a minute and then someone will be in touch with an estimate in the next couple days. Awesome. Anything else I can do for you? That's it. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Okay. Thanks for calling Augusta Lawn Care and have a great day. Bye now. Not bad. Not bad for our first one. Uh, again, the big thing that I'm looking for there is that we need to improve right there is number one, the amount of time it takes for it to process information. It's just pausing there a little bit too long for it to seem natural. The second thing, but that also kind of depends on internet uh, and the latency there. The second thing though, is it needs to be more casual. So it gets better, you saw in that call, it got better towards the end, like saying ums and drawing out some words. That's really, really good to make it seem even more realistic. Uh, at the beginning, it seemed a little bit more robotic in terms of the way it was talking. And so we'll add a little bit more background noise, some ums and ahs, just to make it seem more and more realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a few calls. There's 60 different scenarios I'm testing today, including like all sorts of crazy things. Like this is the actual document I'm going through in terms of all the different scenarios. Like if they ask for an invoice, if they ask about careers and getting hired, if they have a complaint, what if one of our franchisees calls in? Um, what if they ask if we're a robot? What if they ask for a mo? What if they ask for landscaping services? So this is bit what's called UAT. It's basically a checklist of all the different scenarios that Max, the person answering the phone on the AI, is going to be using. I got the lawn care. What can I do for you today? Hi, yes. Uh, yesterday you all came and mowed my lawn, but I'm not very happy because the backyard porch wasn't blowed off correctly. I'll just need to get some information from you first and then we'll get a quote over to you within the next couple days. Yeah, uh, Does that sound okay? No, I was complaining. Can I just check, did you want to book a service or get a quote? Uh, not there yet. Hi, yeah, I was interested in joining Augusta Lawn Care and becoming a franchisee or buying into the franchise. Sure. If you're interested in starting a franchise, please visit AugustaLawnCareServices.com slash franchise, where you can book a video call with us to discuss this opportunity further. Anything else I can do for you? I'm afraid I can't put you through to anyone at the moment, but if you let me know why you're calling in a bit more detail, I'll pass your message on to the right team. I'm calling because I'm unhappy that AI is taking away real jobs in, in the world. Augusta Lawn Care, what can I do for you today? Hi, yeah, I'm, I was wondering, are you all hiring right now? Am I able to come work for you? Sure. If you're 
you're interested in applying for a job with us, please visit AugustaLongCareServices.com slash careers and make sure to select the location you want. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, I think that's it. Thank you very much. This is really just phase one where it can take incoming leads. Eventually the goal is for it to also do more customer service related things, billing, et cetera. And then stage three is integrating with Copilot and then we can do all sorts of cool stuff. What's up? Terrence just got a wreck. Coming the same way, I guess y'all would have came off 45. Huh? Yeah. And uh, like I guess just the light that I, just the light that I ran and the girls coming from, from that way. Um. And I guess she hit the front and spun it. I don't know. It happened so quick. Everyone was like okay after like walking out. So. Yeah, yeah. Everybody walked out. The officer had to let me out because I couldn't open the door. Oh, is the door jammed? Yeah, it was jammed. It was jammed. He got it unjammed. Shit, open it. Well, when I was in it, I couldn't open it. He pulled it open. He got it open. So it's, it's P2, There's not, so it's not the one with the ramp rack, but it's definitely undrivable right now. It might be repairable. I know, dude, I know, I know, I know, dude. And then it's like, even the, so even like my, the back of my head too, it's like, okay, like put the challenge aside. Is this a matter of, I just finished the projects that are on the schedule and then we just basically, leave it like is it even worth us getting because like, you gotta have a second truck to make it profitable a location essentially so okay so we just got an extra jack and tools and bungee cords because i think we can limp this thing back to the storage facility so it's to actually use it, because we need to if we're gonna hit this challenge. There's no way we hit this challenge with the first one truck. There's no way. Like Connor brought it to me a couple of weeks ago, like, hey, this guy is really good. I think he could be a good GM in the future. Like, I wanna work with him as a co-worker. So like, I've already been watching it. Connor's kind of been pushing in that direction to learn and grow and do all of that. So like, Connor knows, so like, he may lose him at some point. Okay, so, um, this is what we're gonna do. There's only one option. Not, it's not an option here. Um, Chuck was not happy with me, and I'm not happy with myself about how, how much I went out of the systems. I knew that was bad. So, um, the only option is this, and that is for you to become a GM of Concord, which is here. So, the, that location, we would basically have you take that location over. Um, that way it's closer to your apartment, and it so happened that five minutes after this happened, the Concord GM gave you notice. Okay, um, Triple H should be here in a second. They will change out the tire for us, and then if we can't drive, then they'll tow us. Okay. All right. So I was, I called them. I'm like, the only thing I need is an ETA. Yeah. They're like, we can get the 805. Okay. So let's go. That's awesome. Four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. All right. Okay, so this is the deal. It's crazy. 
we have one location that has been underperforming out of the five up here in the north side. And um, that general manager, five minutes after I called Chuck, gave his two weeks notice. It so happens that the location that we are currently sitting in, well not sitting in, where, where the accident happens inside of that territory of Concord. So, what we are going to do, this is not like an optional thing for Terrence, this is a matter I'm, we, this is how it's going to roll. He will become the general manager at the Concord location and another team member that is a frontline mowing team member has been crushing on the field and has been in line to be a general manager. He lives down in South Park and he's gonna be the general manager. So literally right now, Chuck is calling him, making sure he's good with it. They've already been talking about it in the past and seeing if literally tonight I can call him, make him the GM for the South Park location where he lives and make Terrence the GM of the Concord location where he's actually, his apartment is literally in Concord. So let's see if this works. Not ideal. I'm not thrilled about the fact that we're, the insurance is gonna go through the roof on our policies. I'm not thrilled by the fact that currently we have children en route to the hospital to get checked out and make sure they're okay. So let's hope that's good first. But this could become a good thing in the long run. Could be. We'll see what happens. Now this is what we needed all along. <laughs> good as new. Just a little air in this bad boy. And we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> All right, so the plan is gonna be this. Chandler's gonna be starting literally tomorrow. Terrence is already headed off to the shop. Tomorrow morning, he'll be starting at the new location here in Concord. And uh, this is gonna get fixed eventually. However, we've gotta be able to do make do with just the one truck. So we're gonna get all these projects done that we have on the schedule, limp, limp this bad boy along, and then the week and a half or so before Chandler comes out to training in Washington, we can get this thing fixed and in the shop. All right, wish me luck. We're gonna go ahead and give this thing a shot. Uh, Zach was smart enough to tell me not to drive it on the highway. Um, so I'm just looking at the dash. Right now it just says service the airbag and left, left front tire is low, add, t add air to tire. It's obviously the one I just switched out. It's running pretty smooth. Honestly, just feeling it out. Eh, it's a little rough. Something, something seems a little bit off. You know what? I'm gonna do what I tell my crew to do, and that is do a quick walkthrough of the truck. You just never know. Of course, it's pouring down rain out here. Okay, so I don't have a light. That's not good. All right. Yeah, pouring down rain, mercy goodness. This is fun stuff. Okay, so, uh, then our first problem, when I turn the tire, it's hitting something. It's hitting something. Oh, it's hitting right here. I turn the wheel and yeah, sure enough, it hits. I think this tire's the wrong, the wrong size. Or this got smashed in a little bit, but not really. Oh well, the say it continues. Call AAA, they'll be here in an hour. Uh, so a little after 10 p.m. And uh, yeah, gonna call Chandler, the new GM of the South Park location of Augusta Lawn Care. He's already been working several months. He already knows Augusta, how we roll, how everything works, pay for performance, etc. So he'll be able to plug and play. I think having Terrence in the environment of the three other locations right next to each other and they work out of the same shop space, uh, that will be also helpful for him. So AAA got delayed another hour. Um, it's crazy because this morning I was talking to the franchisees. I'm doing like a recap video for them every day and I was talking to them and I said, uh, you know, next, next week is gonna be very difficult for the challenge perspective in terms of video because we're just gonna be doing the same thing and I was like, sell more jobs, book the job, book out further, and hire a person. And it's gonna be hard to make it interesting for the vlog. Well, this kind of throws a monkey wrench in it. It's gonna definitely make it interesting. 
whether or not we hit it, now it just comes down to can we execute on the jobs. We have the jobs on the schedule. We have enough work. It's whether or not we can even do the work because now I'm towing a truck. So I got to get there first thing in the morning and I looked at Firestone's auto care were taking this thing and they don't have a, a slot available for like three days. So it's hope and pray that it's just a tire to at least limp the thing along so we can use it for the next week. Then we can hit the challenge. Then we would be successful, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I even get to sleep tonight because by the time I get picked up, transport, tow... I did talk to Chandler on the phone just now. He's going to meet me tomorrow morning. And, uh... Yeah. We're just rocking and rolling. What was it? Three hours ago? Four hours ago? Four hours ago? Everything was on cruise control. Jobs were on the schedule. We, we, we knew, we, we basically knew we were gonna hit the challenge. We just knew it. We have the job on the schedule, it's booked. It just execute on the job, find one employee, we'll knock this out. If we don't find the employee, I'll jump in and just knock him out with, with Terrence. And now this happens. Thank you, I appreciate it. You got your bye bye. Whew. You get a call from the tow truck driver, you're not too sick of, too, you don't know what's gonna happen.